so they're on for the treble. You have to say it. They're second, two points behind Arsenal with two games in hand. Champions League, we mentioned at the semi-finals on May 9th and 17th where they face Real Madrid home and away. And then the FA Cup final, not until June the 3rd. That's against Manchester United, first ever Manchester derby in the FA Cup. The only English team, as I said, back in 99 to win the treble, their neighbours, Manchester United. Let's take you down pitch side then to the Etihad Stadium. Peter Drury, Lee Dixon, Graham Lasso on your little walk down. You've had time to digest the whole thing and soak up what's the atmosphere as the players uh, left the field. So it's over to you guys for some post-match thoughts. Yeah, well, walking through the crowds on our way down, Rebecca, we certainly got a feel for what they consider this to be. And, and obviously they consider it to be a, a seminal moment. And, and I think, guys, what we have to remind ourselves is that Arsenal are a very, very good football team. And Manchester City were a lot better than Arsenal tonight. <laughs> and and yeah. so I asked the kind of obvious question, how close to optimal were Manchester City? I mean, how near to as good as you can be were they? Well, I, I think... When you play against them, you've got to play your best game. I think any side going up against them, they're so, they're so complete in all departments. And Arsenal didn't do that tonight. And they didn't do that because they were just well-schooled by Pep. You know, his tactics, um, they've got brilliant players in every position, but the way he set them up tonight was exceptional. And we said, well, is he going to do something? Is, is he going to tweak it? Well, he gave... He gave arguably Man City's best player if you take Haaland out of it as a, a as a footballer their best player freedom of the park and he said go out and destroy this team in front of you and go wherever you want within reason but you're basically playing wherever you want as a 10 a floating 10 an 8 a 6 well do what you want Kevin De Bruyne and go and go and have a field day and he had a field day and they were brilliant all part and Graham said it in commentary S certain players were sacrificed or had to be sacrificed the wide players looking in from the outside because they went straight down the middle they looked at the the partnership of the two center backs and said that's their weakness. What do we do? Put our best player, best two players, in that place, and they destroyed Arsenal tonight. One of the things, sorry, one of the things that impresses me so much about this team, they're so heavily coached as a team, Manchester City. You know, they, they work so hard in training. I remember we spoke to Carl Walker years ago and him saying that, you know, you come off the training ground every day and you're just taking in so much information all the time. He's constantly evolving. But they've got that wonderful balance between coach within within an inch of their lives, but also given the freedom to go out and make decisions for themselves. So they're not so coached to restrict them, they're coached to give themselves the best opportunity you, to use their footballing brains to execute a plan and adapt within a game. And I think that's one of the stunning things that sets this City team apart from anyone else. They played out from the back when they could. The first goal, John Stones went from that corner to here to Long, to Haaland. They did it three or four times, back to front when they needed to. And it's just it's just this blend, and it's looking at every other team, and I think we'd feel the same if we were still playing, thinking just how how do you stop them? Because they've answered the question that you, before you've even asked it. So, if we can break down the plan a little yeah. bit. They stopped Arsenal being Arsenal tonight. Never mind what they did going forward, De Bruyne, Haaland, all of that beautiful stuff. I've rarely, if ever, seen Martinelli so quiet, Saka so quiet. Mm -hmm. We asked about Akanji playing at left back. Mm. This, <clears throat> this, this Manchester City plan, if you can do that to Arsenal, why isn't somebody else doing that but, to Arsenal? Well, what does City do differently? Just because they've got all the best players and, <laughs> and they've got all the intelligent players and the best coach in the world. Mm. And they just say, you know, we, we're used to the, the right back, whether it be Walker or Stones going in there and playing in there. They just went, right, your best players are your two wingers. And, the, and Akanji and, and, and Walker stayed wide and said, we're going to do that. So they nullified that. They also... They also, the way that they that they play forces Arsenal to go, right, we need to win this game, so we'll go on the press. So when we go on the press, we'll just hit it long or hit it to De Bruyne. They just run out, they run out of men. They put them, their men were in the wrong place and that was the tactics of City that made them do that. And then they passed through the press to their best player mm. and he linked up with their other best player and they won 4-1. The, the, <laughs> the possession side of it is, is absolutely critical as well. City 
control possession so well, but they do it in a positive way. So they, they protect the ball whilst also looking to hurt the opponent. And, and that puts, I think, everyone on the back foot immediately. You can start with a press, but if you don't get success in the first couple against a team this good, mm. you then start to doubt yourself. That then leads to the next set, set of problems. And it's just this, again, it's this beautiful blend. The players are so pliable. They totally believe in Pep Guardiola's plan. Whatever he says to them, they go and do, and they execute it so willingly. They, all, they also had a midfield player, for, in, in me, an experienced midfield player who couldn't work it out. Partey, was, he needed help. He needed somebody to go, and he, I, I, I think that if you're an experienced player, like, you should be able to work out certain things, but you are playing one of the, the, the world's best teams, so it's very difficult. I don't want to be too critical of him, but he lost the plot. He wasn't picking up. He was getting runners running off him. You might say, well, he needed help, and possibly that's Arteta's, you know, uh, territory to say, right, Shaka, just go really tight and just plug those holes and see, get City to play in front of you. They were just playing on the back of Partey the whole of that first half. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.